all right guys welcome to another episode today is memorial weekend saturday the 28th today we are doing our traditional thing we do every memorial day to get away from people and that's we're going to run limb lines for channel cat and flathead right now i got to go put up all my limb lines which i'm going to try to do about 12 to 14 of them that's going to take me about an hour and a half two hours I gotta go rig all them up, put the glow stick on them, but not crack them. The little orange flags, tie the hook on. And then we're gonna spin from about three till seven catching bluegill for bait. And we'll catch channel cats on accident during that period, hopefully in Buffalo. And then right before dark, we're gonna set our limb lines. So stay tuned, these fish are going nuts. They're shad. It's either that or baby crappies. That's shad. There's a lot of shad in here. So stay tuned, guys. I'll turn back on after we're fishing with our poles, trying to catch bait, because we do catch some nice bluegill and accidental channel cats. So, all right. Is it a bass? Wilma's got a gigantic bass here, guys. No, is, oh my God, that is a bass. Oh my God. I think it is. It ain't gold. Holy shit. Get it back here. Get it back here. Get it back here. Don't reel in anymore. Do not reel in anymore. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Oh my God, guys. This thing is six pounds easily. I did not know they got that big in here. Well, if we don't do any good, hey, you, you accomplished something. Guys, we're trying to catch bluegill for our limb lines and she just caught a six pound bass on a worm and bobber with 30 pound braid he might even be seven that's okay. it's six he's about six pounds i can weigh it oh my god he's only about five actually he's five though it's a good good five pounder he might go six. That's Good God. You barely got him too. Yeah, I mean barely. It's hooked in his gill though. I can't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. It's going to be hard. I may have to cut your hook. Not because I want to, but. We're gonna have to keep this fish. Problem is the stringer's all the way over there. You can just keep him in the floor for now though. Broke the hook, sorry. All right, fold this back in half and put it down. Guys, she just caught a, a tank of a bass. He's six pounds, that is six. We're gonna weigh it just to see. Get in the second pocket in the front of the, where the scale is where, okay well then take this fish and I'm gonna film you it's dripping blood the only one to wait it could be seven it's your personal best bass I think damn close all right let me get this blood off and let me zoom good god that's a no 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 be careful Just hold him on the other side. He's not going to quit bleeding. Just hold him where the blood ain't coming out. Guys, what a bass. That is easily six pounds. It could go seven. Just hold that pose. I want to get a good view of you. Wow. I got to back up a little bit. That is a big bass. What a surprise. Uh, one more, one more. It's bleeding. It's going to the back. The back. Hold that pose for a minute. Just hold still. And, and don't put it back yet. I want to take a picture with my phone real fast. I got to show William. I 
Okay. God, there's a giant, man. Holy cow, there's some monsters in here. Where do you put this? I don't know. Are you going to want to keep it? Just put it back. Maybe it'll live. We want that to spawn. Look at that belly. It's full of eggs. Holy cow. Only other thing I can do is pull it up. Let me try to pull it up. Cut the branches. I'm about to go over a damn stick. You don't feel him pulling. It must have got off. Damn. There's the bobber. He got off. There he is. <clears throat> he didn't get off. It's because I seen the worm on the line. We've got him, guys. We just got to get him out of this brush. There he is. It's not real big, but it's not bad. That's what I saw. He's just jumping. He's so jumping. Uh, hold on. Oh. not bad he's two or three pounds anyway bigger than that huh um all right i'm getting ready to stand up oh he's about eight pounds oh man nice yeah he's eight pounds that's a big channel Let me get out and anchor us so we can actually stop in a decent place. Don't do anything. I'm holding it with my knees. Yep. They're real shallow right now, the cat. not even hooked in the mouth in the eyeball weird broke the hook god here <sighs> 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 
That's a decent one. He's six. About like the bass. At least we got we got two quality fish anyway. We could have got completely skunked. Yeah, he's he's six pounds. What you do is hold him completely one the thumb in the mouth and then one in the center of the belly. You put your thumb completely in his mouth as hard as you can and then you put your whole hand other hand underneath its belly in the center and I'll zoom in on you. You better put your finger and thumb in his mouth first or you'll lose him. You'll lose him. Do it the way I said. You want your thumb like this though. I know but that's why I bought the gloves. You'll lose him any other way. You have to do what I said or you're going to lose the fish. Put your thumb in like this. Don't risk him flopping in. He won't bite. It's a female. The female's got a bigger mouth. Alright, let me let me close this again. Guys, that's a nice channel cat. We're gonna say he's six pounds. That's actually a female. Okay, try to move your your hand is blocking its head. Try to hide your hand more underneath. There you go. Nice channel cat, guys. About five, six pounds. Got him out of the bush. If she wouldn't have had braid, it would have never happened. All right, now let me get one picture with the phone. Good channel cat, guys. We got our first fish on the limb line and it is a baby. He's only about a pound and a half. Little bitty channel cat. Not even worth keeping. I'm just gonna throw him back. Little baby. He's not bad. Hey, he's about three or four. Yeah, he's nice. Hold on a minute, I'm gonna rebate it and crack the stick and then you can film me. See, so you gotta do this. Now I gotta get a bait. Not enough the lights. <sighs> ah, dang it. <clears throat> Fucking splash in the damn camera, man. Take it up and shake it. Shake it good. Take it up. Take it up. 
like that. Mm. Not like that, like that. You got the gloves. <sighs> now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to hold the camera and shine the light on me. Remember where to aim, don't you? Right here. Right at my chest plate. All right, guys, this is our second channel cat, only the first one on a limb line. He's about four pounds. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was at first. He's really not that bad. You sure you're shining on me right? Right on my chest plate. A little bit above my stomach. It's showing up. my face right there in between that's it all right guys we're gonna go get this guy on the stringer but we're gonna crack the sticks on the way first limb line channel it's a nice one not bad shirt showed up huh huh are you sure it showed up on the film <sighs> you don't know well, that's great shoot up Go ahead. Do it again if you want. No, it's okay. Just give me the camera. <clears throat> we gotta get these sticks cracked. All right, guys. William just caught a, about a five-pound bass, at least four, on a trot line. Or a limb line, I mean. That's nuts, man. I've never heard of that, but, man, they were eating good today, the big bass. Good God. Because that one, I bet the one she got was at least, I'm going to say at least six and a half, but I'm, I should have weighed it, but she, it was bleeding so bad. She didn't want me to do anything. She wanted to get it back in. All right, guys, we got fish number four, and it's a giant. This is why you do not go home just because things are slow. We was about to leave. We had not had a fish in an hour. And we was just doing our round. We would just drove by all 22 limb lines and we got to the very last one. And I was just debating to hang them up and all of a sudden it started splashing as we went by it. Now that is just crazy how that works. I originally told her I want to stay till nine in the morning. I don't plan on staying that long. This is a big fish. This is a big one. I do believe as much as he was just splashing He's hooked. That's a decent one. Looks pretty decent to me, doesn't it? It's got a big head. Look at... What is that? Is that even a fish? What in the fuck is that? Something ain't right. That don't, I think it got off. Yeah, but what is that sticking out of the water? Oh, yeah. Okay, yep. He's pretty decent. It's three pounds anyway. It's not big. Thought it was bigger than what it was, guys. Nether. We keep getting three pounders tonight, and that's it. I don't know what the deal is, and they're all females. I'm getting no males. Actually, he might go for... He might go about four pounds. Man, I can't get a flathead for nothing, man. Cannot get a flathead. Oh, he's barely hooked. Shine the light on him. <clears throat> Calm down, buddy. Oh, he's four. Easily four or five. Uh. Uh. 
Here you go. now but just guys we usually get 10 and 12 pounders and just today it just seems like it's just a little one which these are good eating size okay shine the light on me where I can see the hook okay this is a straight shank hook too huh one of the very few I had a straight shank hook on just a J hook Is that dead? Yeah. It don't matter for channels. I gotta get that damn scale off. There we go. You need to own the lights. That one. It's about another four pounder. They're all fours. They're decent. Showing me? A shadow on the fish. I see it. I cannot see it. Aim it at my chest plate. The flashlight. You gotta aim it right at my chest plate. What about now? The shadow of the face is in your face. Don't put the face on your... Oh my God. Okay. That one. All right, guys, another four pounder. Not too bad. It's dark. Yes. Can you... Can you put the lights on your feet? That one. On your feet. There we go. Near on your feet. I see the light near on your feet. Still dark. Still dark. God, because you're not aiming the light in the right spot. Yeah, I see that. And then you cover the fish. Well, this is pointless. How to to put the in your aim the fish light at the fish then? I put on your chest, and then the. This, you put it up on your chest. That's fine. So as long as it's showing on the screen. Get closer or something. You're too far away, first off. Mm. 
No or what? What, uh, what are we doing here? Is well, it working? I see it. I see it. But it's blurry. It's not really clear. The flashlight sucks. I know that. With the lantern on the table and the flashlight, it should be showing up. Okay. All right, guys, another four pounder. Don't cover your face. The the shadow of the fish is in you your face. You want me to hold it down here yeah. all the time? Hold it I down. I can't hold it that long. Hold it down because the shadow of the fish is in your face. Like that. Like that. All right, let's go put this on the stringer. damn stringer. <clears throat> I can't believe we had all that boring time and then I'm checking the last limb line and then it went off. Now it's going to be four. Yeah. All four females, not one male. Males ain't in the mood of for biting her for some reason. Oh, you twisted eight times, buddy. pounds of fish. It's twisting too much. Alright guys, there's our catch for the night. That one on top is the biggest one. He's about six, all the rest are threes. Well, they like doing circles, don't they? It's really low. You should hold that side and hold that side. Yeah, that's going to be way harder than you think. Well, Can't do it. If you're not doing like that, it's hard because it's really low and yeah that one there we go guys that's showing up pretty good up a little bit up a little bit Okay, down a little bit, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna get my phone. Okay, you can turn that off. Just hold the power, yeah. Turn that off. <sighs> 